From California State University, San Bernardino, it's Local Matters. Set design and carpentry. Hello, I'm Sierra Murdoch and welcome to Local Matters, featuring stories from across the Inland Empire. And I'm Wendy Padron. People can develop their creative skills in any special area of interest, no matter how big or small. Reporter Cesar Morales visits a local set builder's home to get a glimpse of their skillful work. Whether it's reading, collecting, or playing an instrument, we all have that one special hobby that sparks our creativity and originality. Joel Briggs creates elaborate sets every October for the past 10 years to bring scares and smiles to everyone in the neighborhood. We asked him how it all started. Basically about 10 years ago, we had a kind of a dead tree here when we bought this house and I just decided that I was going to do something with it. So we put some tombstones up, uh, put some animated props up, and I believe that was a year of the Three Stooge uh, Crows and we put them on the tree and they were hit and from there it just uh, started growing. Just the neighbors love it, uh, it's a safe place for people to come and uh, basically it's just fun to do. Even though it seems a little too scary, we asked Joel Briggs' son how he feels about his dad's favorite hobby. The crowd and the people's faces they like. I like I like the faces. Like they're all like wow, that's amazing. We get a lot of compliments, we get a lot of uh, people coming back, um, and we get a lot of people that have grown up here that are still coming back now with their children, which is kind of amazing. You know, here they were 14, 15 years uh, old, or even yeah, and now they have babies and they're bringing them back. So that's pretty amazing to hear. Doesn't matter if you're bored or just following your true passion. It is safe to say that hobbies don't only just keep you busy, but keep us all happy. For Local Matters, I'm Cesar Morales. Woodwork is a craft that has been performed across the globe for centuries. Even though the ancient skill is not as practiced today, there are still those who practice the craft. Reporter Adam Gussain shows us that this art is still alive. Carpentry, one of the oldest forms of craftsmanship still done today here in the Inland Empire. Not only is it one of the oldest forms of craftsmanship, but it is also known as one of the oldest arts used today. Once you make something by your hands and at the same time expressing your feelings, of course it becomes an art. You can really feel what you're doing, you know, you can create something and you can make things productive in a way. Many have different introductions towards carpentry. Ricardo Morales Jr. had his father. I believe really it feels like 12 years ago. Yeah, I actually started just sanding. It was his side job, so he would just take me like every like on vacation. I'll go and start helping him out, sanding cabinets, and then pretty much I did that probably for like three years, and until I made my first cabinet, when I put till I was like 16. Throughout generations, carpentry has become less of an interest, creating a higher demand for carpenters. I definitely think so. Yes, I think we're losing a lot of the good craftsmanship, you know, you know, craftsmanship on 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 this type of work. There's not many good carpenters anymore as you use. Of course, there will always be steps to follow for craftsmanship, one of them always being safety at the top of the list. Just be careful, man. A lot of tools, a lot of things can go wrong. A lot of things have gone wrong, so just be careful. Safety number one. If you ever have the urge and curiosity to create something special, grab some tools, get the wood, and take wonder in what is created before your very eyes. For Local Matters, I'm Adam Gussain. To keep updated on what Local Matters is doing, check out our Facebook and YouTube page. I'm Wendy Padron. And I'm Sierra Murdoch. Join us next time for more local stories that matter.